Hey there, it's TJ from CanadianProductReviews.com. Finally back in the studio, finally gonna do a review here for ya. I've been having lots of fun with uh, some you know, different videos, some how-tos and whatnot, some parodies of other channels, but I'm back in my little studio, my cluttered mess, to get into a subject that I really uh, think is interesting and I've uh, really gotten into over the last little bit. Fujika. And no, this isn't some amazing retro camera that's like a 20 megapixel uh, SLR, mirrorless, blah, blah, blah. This is a 1965 Fujika ST801 35 millimeter film SLR. I'm going to get into why I think film SLRs are the vinyl records of the upcoming 10 years or so, and why if you jump on the bandwagon now, you'll be able to get on the ground floor and really get some amazing deals and some collector's items. So cue the intro, and I'll get right into it. <laughs> so, thanks for sticking around. Why am I talking about this? Well, I wanted to uh, kind of get to the photography roots. I right now have a Canon 70D. I've had a couple Rebels before that. I've been big into photography and obviously this camera connects me through you guys to YouTube and really makes an amazing image for like the thousand dollar price range, you know, depending on what kind of lenses and stuff you got these days. And uh, I thought, let's pay homage to that technology and pick something up so I can learn a little bit more about photography and where things came from. Well, lo and behold, I find this listing on Kijiji for this amazing Fujika camera. It comes in a bowling bag and uh, I kind of bought it sight on scene thinking at worst case for $35 I find a cool ornament to put on one of my shelves. Lo and behold, I get the thing home, I clean it up, and this amazing camera turns out to work. It's clean as a whistle. Someone took amazing care of it. It comes with all of the original manuals as well as the import data sheet from 1966, January 1966. So this thing's in, you know, 65, the guy imported it and uh, held on to all the original documentation as you'll see in a second. So I buy this little weird battery. I found one um, at our local drugstore and I find some uh, film at the drugstore as well. I, I also went to a hobbyist store uh, because I thought I need some black and white. So um, I'm really getting into it. All these lenses uh, all the way from like 20 millimeter or 22 millimeter all the way up to 105. So I've got four lenses, all these filters, they're all in amazing shape. I'm thinking let's make a present for my wife with this. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure but I load some film in and lo and behold this is what comes out of it. These amazing photos of my son before Christmas. So these are before he's one years old and as you can see in the b-roll right now just amazing cool effects. These aren't Instagram effects. These are real 35 millimeter camera effects. The bokeh, the crispy lenses, the, the, the cool blurry backgrounds. It's just, I, I could not believe the images I got of that. So of course I went and bought more film and I've been having a, a riot with it. But I thought, uh, what a cool way to get into photography if you're on a budget. $35 I got all this stuff for. Uh, it lets you learn aperture settings, the ISO settings, the film speed settings, and feel the mechanical clicks and why all that stuff is the way it is in our current technology. It's just amazing the brushed metal feel of this, it's substantial and it gives you something at the end of the day you can feel that's tangible. Some photography, some film, some uh, some photos that you took yourself. Now of course my 70D takes way better photos, you know, but there's something lost in, uh, in translation there in the digital age that I would never give up. but. Having jumped back into this, oh man, it's just so cool to see where it all comes from. So I suggest doing some research and uh, pick some, picking something up now. Even prices on eBay are still pretty low for packages of this stuff. Uh, I'm sure that my camera was, uh, you know, in the thousand dollar price range and account for inflation. 
I can only imagine how much this camera really does. It's such amazing technology for 1965 that it must have been in the thousands of dollars if you account for inflation. So pretty cool, especially with all the lenses and the kit I got with it. So kudos to whoever kept, uh, you know, I, I'd imagine they're not with us anymore, whoever kept this in such nice shape. I think someone sold this for beer money and I just reaped the benefits, but you know, thumbs up to that. So I'm gonna cut to some B-roll of what this package came with and uh, you know, look at the pictures again and then we'll sum things up. Well, isn't that amazing? I mean, just look at what this girl's wearing in this brochure. He has the original brochure for the camera. I mean, I, I didn't even think that something this, uh, you know, something like this existed from 1965, but I guess if you're selling a camera and, uh, you know, really boasting its technology, you better have a way to display it. So, I mean, I, I ended up getting like a lot of these lenses. Isn't that amazing? So. Yeah, jump on the bandwagon. I showed some examples there of uh, a few cameras I would be interested in if I didn't get such a good deal here. Who knows where things might go, but this is, yeah, really fun experience and I would definitely recommend picking up even uh, uh, any sort of technical camera from before 1990, 19, you know, 1985 and uh, playing around with it. You can still get the film developed. There's still plenty of options out there and enthusiasts, so uh, jump on the bandwagon now and who knows, this stuff might really pick up in value. I mean, Nintendos and uh, vinyl records and all that stuff, it just keeps going up. So I'm sure something like this will be the next, uh, the next thing to jump on. So thank you for watching my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I do a video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, you know, I know I don't have very many subscribers right now, but that's because you haven't clicked the button. I'm going to cover interesting subjects like this all the time. So thanks for watching and do do loo do do do. Can we melt up some glass fibers in here? All right, so let's get Mr. Dorji out <laughs> and we'll see. Look at that. It's burning like your first birthday cake without all of the glucose fructose icing. I mean, how safe is that? All right, let's get back. Move on.